possible Tesla partner BASF receives 175 million euros for battery material from Brandenburg. That's the place where Tesla is building its Tesla Giga Berlin. In the past, we have wondered where the Tesla batteries for Giga Berlin will come before Tesla starts building its own batteries. We thought it was coming possibly from Cattle, which is building a, another battery factory not too far from Brandenburg. But it looks like there may be another possible Tesla future or present partner, BASF, who received money, 175 million euros um, uh, for, from the Brandenburg government for battery material welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please look around subscribe to our channel and if you would like to know that if you would like to receive daily Tesla news and please ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story and please also like this video to show your appreciation of Tesla Mac who brings the details from a press release from Brandenburg's government in Schwarzheide in Brandenburg, just 100 miles south of Tesla's emerging German gigafactory near Berlin, Giga Berlin, preparations are currently underway for a work that should actually have earned the prefix Giga, maybe another gigafactory, but this time from BASF. The developer behind this is not Tesla, but the German chemical company BASF but there could still be a connection says tesla mark between the two that's in tesla and between uh, bus because in schwarzheide cathode materials for battery cells are to be produced and at tesla electric cars including batteries are expected to be produced in any case the bus project is making progress it has just received a funding notification of 175 million euros from the federal government and the state of Brandenburg. That's a lot of money. Is this local production for Tesla? We don't know. In a press release, Brandenburg's Prime Minister Dietmar Wojtke <coughs> spoke of a key investment in the future of Europe's electric cars. 70% of the funding comes from the federal government and 30% from the state and the smaller parts is also to flow into the bus plant in Ludwigshafen. In, Schwarzheide in, in uh, Schwarzheide in Brandenburg, BASF is building production facilities for cathode material for the battery cells of electric cars and stationary batteries. The money from the federal government is part of the European battery project IPCEI-1 in the second edition of which Tesla should also probably be involved, says Tesla Mark. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, there will be a quote-unquote local supply of batteries for the electric cars from the new Gigafactory in Grünheide, in Brandenburg. But at least for the time being, this should not be understood as directly on site, not coming from Giga Berlin, but it may be from elsewhere uh, in Germany. Tesla's changed Gigafactory plans no longer provide for the production of battery packs from the modules or individual battery cells in the phase one. The suggest that, uh, this suggests that Tesla can at least initially be supplied with finished batteries that come from another plant or from a partner cattle from China, for example, which Tesla is already supplying there and uh, which is already supplying to Tesla and is investing 1.8 billion euros in a cell factory in Thuringia, which would be a conceivable Tesla battery supplier. So this is what I was referring in the beginning of this report that Tesla we thought was getting some batteries from cattle from China but since Tesla is in Brandenburg and uh, uh, BASF is receiving 175 million euros from the Brandenburg government for battery materials it is very logical to assume that BASF will um, <coughs> supply uh, Tesla batteries in the future in the Giga Berlin among uh, other uh, other car partners. Tesla may buy uh, batteries both from cattle and both from bus. Um, let's see how things go. So in, in the longer term, however, it has been agreed that Tesla will also invest in the European battery cell production 
on its own and we have heard many times about this earlier plans for later phases of the german gigafactory which already provided for a large side building labeled cell speak in favor of this as does the confirmation from the federal government for tesla's participation in the second battery ipcei which i mentioned above and in this context busf cut busf's cathode plant in the same state could also be of interest very much for Giga Berlin. According to a report by RBB, only 200 additional employees are to produce materials for 400,000 electric cars per year there, which would correspond to 20,000 megawatt hours of capacity annually, even with only 50 kilowatt hours per battery. According to Tesla's logic, the Brandenburg bus plant is likely to call itself a Giga factory for at least a small part of the electric car revolution even if neither side becomes a direct partner for tesla well what do you think friends do you think tesla will buy initially we're talking about only initially um, batteries both from from basf and uh, cattle how logical is each to become a giga berlin partner in your opinion in the meantime German media is full of praise of Tesla. Tesla shows what is possible when polit political will and quick administrative work meet entrepreneurial determination. For example, the federal government's SME commissioner told Handelsblatt recently, this matters that Tesla can not only stir up the German car market, but also bring about a revolution in the approval permit process for large industrial projects, which I reported several days ago. When the Tesla plans for the Giga Berlin became known at the end of 2019, there were considerable doubts about the feasibility by next summer in view of the German administration, which was decried as cumbersome. So far, however, according to Elon Musk, Tesla project has progressed at an impressive pace. As further experts confirmed to the Handelsblatt uh, the newspaper, politically, even a green representative praised the Tesla settlement Giga Berlin as a stroke of luck for Germany. <clears throat> The FDP, that's how they uh, uh, represented. I personally don't believe in luck, but that's how they said there's a stroke of luck for Germany. The FDP spoke of successful balance between economy and ecology, and the omnipresent car professor Ferdinand Dudenhofer contributed from economic research that Tesla was a blessing for Germany and even provide development aid. All of this could be read in the Handelsblatt and elsewhere in the last few days, which is a newspaper, top newspaper in Germany. And Elon Musk also became aware of it through the English post on the blog of Tesla accessories provider Tesmanian and said, thank you, Brandenburg and Grünheide, wrote Tesla CEO in German under a Twitter post with a reference to the article saying, danke schön, Brandenburg and, Gr and, und Grünheide. So he even refrained from locating the Giga factory in Berlin as he usually likes to do. A hopeful follower from Germany immediately provided an audio file with the correct pronunciation of the place name that Musk may have mentioned for the first time. The Tesla boss has already indicated earlier that he speaks and understands a little German and also demonstrated when at the end of July he suddenly took a picture of himself with his baby born in May and the text the baby can't use a spoon yet published on Twitter and when he was in Germany in Germany uh, in German mood this week there was an almost completely uh, correct announcement uh, about the music in an alleged party basement in the Brandenburg Giga factory, hardcore techno, but maybe a little elevator music in um, in the Giga factory. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these developments. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Um, if you would like, please subscribe to our channel. If you would like to have daily Tesla news, and also link uh, like this video to show your appreciation of Tesla Max reporting and all the friends who helped me to bring these stories to you. And please also ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you 
take good care of each other and i'll see you soon by the way we are hiring tesla reporters for talknews.com if you like to talk about tesla and have uh, lots of comments about tesla please contact me using the about and uh, using our email in the about page of talk news youtube channel and um, send me a sample story about current tesla event and we'll take it from there i would love to hear from you and because i would like to have three four um reporters daily reporters at talknews.com to make talk news one of the top tesla news destination and electric car news destination uh, online well have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you and see you soon peace be with all of you